Today is the big move to San Diego. Um, I'm, it's like 100 degrees outside and I just finished loading the car with all my stuff. It's so hot. I'm gonna get ready, uh, get myself together, um, and then I'll come back on here for a little more detail of what's going on. Alright, I got myself slightly ready, um, just so I can, I don't know, I like to look decent, feel decent. Um, but yeah, so today I'm moving from Utah to San Diego. My mother is driving with me, Miss Leah Redden. She's driving the truck, I'm driving my car. Uh, we're gonna make a pit stop at um, some family's house. We have family that lives in Vegas, which is halfway there. So we're gonna stop in Vegas. Uh, we're turning this into like a little, a little trip. So we're gonna do some stuff in, in Vegas and then we'll get to California a few days before I actually move in and kind of hang out a little bit and do some fun stuff. Um, so yeah, today we've got about six hours to drive. The, um, it's funny, like we didn't even need a whole moving truck because the place I'm getting is furnished. So I don't have that much stuff, but um, my, my car can't pull a trailer um, and I have like just too much stuff. To uh, well, I have too much stuff to fit into my car. My car's not that big. So, um, yeah, we're piecing out soon. Um, I'm gonna try to get Miss Leah moving here. Um, and I'll update you later. All right, we're on the road now. Um, I forgot I didn't eat, so I'm stopping. Uh, it's Utah, so a lot of stuff's closed on Sunday. Um, but Panda Express is open, so I'm gonna go there. Sometimes, it, well, most of the time it makes my stomach really hurt. So I'm gonna try and get mild stuff that doesn't make my stomach hurt. I think if I go with like rice and like the beef broccoli, I should be solid. So we got like a six hour drive. So we'll get there at about seven o'clock and then I have to edit a podcast. So y'all better listen to those because I put love into those and I stay up late getting those finished. This is a one man, this is a one man job. It's a one, this is a one man show. All the content, all the videos, all the podcasts is a one man show. Would you like to try our new Uh, and then broccoli beef with broccoli that. Beef. It's funny. I, I mean, I've only been to the Panic Express drive through maybe three times. And, uh, it, they have them read a script every time someone comes up to the window. And it catches you off guard because they, like, ask if you want to try whatever new that they have. And then they just, like, you're not supposed to respond. Like, they're not actually asking. They're just, like, letting you know. I don't know. It's super, like, off-putting. I don't know why they do that. Um, I don't know why they have their employees do that. Gloria and Athena in the front seat. Uh, you can't see my cactus, but we got, we got Leonard back there. The, the goodbye isn't that sad because I'm gonna be back in three weeks for my mom's wedding, so. I've been driving for like 45 minutes and I had like a massive wave of tired hit me. Um, so I stopped and got a five hour energy. These are so gross. I hate drinking caffeine. Um, I haven't had one of these since college. Uh, I'm gonna drink it. Uh, you know, I'd rather have my stomach hurt a little bit than uh, fall asleep while I'm driving, so. Ooh. Ugh. Not a huge fan of that. All right, I'm fueling up in St. George and we're about an hour and a half from Vegas. Uh, yeah. Hi, I forgot to update, um, but I, we got here about 6.30. We played games, celebrated my little cousin's birthday. Okay, so I forgot to record yesterday. Um, I take these off. I look like a douchebag. Uh, I yesterday I went wedding dress shopping with my mom. 
um, which was fun. Insert photos good uh and then i also went and got my nails done which is fun uh this nail tech was bomb one of the best nail techs i've ever had um and then today we got up and we're gonna we're gonna get we're getting lunch with a re another relative that lives in vegas and then we're gonna head to san diego okay we got we got to santa clarita um we are staying in santa clarita which is like 45 minutes north of Los Angeles for two nights and we're gonna leave Thursday morning and move me in Thursday afternoon. We're staying in Santa Clarita because I wanted to go to Six Flags, so. This is my mom. We, ma we made it to our hotel. Hello. Uh, and we're going to Six Flags. Six Flags, yes! I'm moving tomorrow afternoon and we're gonna have a little Fun girls day. It's a video. Today's the day. Today is the day. We move in today. We're in Santa Clarita. We got a two and a half hour drive down to San Diego. Um, and then we're gonna move me in. Also, I put pillows and blankets on this picture of mine and now it's kind of warped and deformed, but you know. It's okay. Yeah. I see you when we get there. Okay, so I'm about 30 minutes out from my apartment. Um, ran out of gas 30 minutes out. Uh, this is my, for keepsakes, this is my first gas receipt. $53 to fill my tank. That is nuts. Utah, it's usually 35 to 40. But what did I expect? What did I expect? This is the price you pay. It's okay. But just... That's all. Just for memory. Just for the memes. Alright. I'm going to head to my apartment. My roommate was very sweet and she sent me a picture of my room. And they've been loading the stuff through the balcony of the window because I guess it's been working better to do that. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Also, some guy on the freeway like came up to my car on his, well, we made eye contact. He was on the other side of the freeway. And I was like, oh, he looked kind of cute. And he came over and drove by my window. And we were like looking at each other. <laughs> and he waved at me and I waved at him. We both started laughing. So that was fun. If you were that guy on the San Diego freeway, feel free to contact me. That's all. So, um, I've been listening, a little update. First of all, this is also me documenting my first round of California traffic. Never in all of the history of Utah does the traffic look like this at 319 in the afternoon. Never, 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 never. So this is new, not unexpected, but new. Um, good thing I work from home. Uh, number two, I've been listening to the book, You Are the Placebo. Super interesting. Um, I've been having all sorts of ideas. Um, very cool. Basically, the book talks about how you can heal yourself with your mind and the power of your mind. Um, and all, and how we can actually, it's been researched and shown that through quantum physics and the power of our brain, we can change what's going on with our cells and our body and our immune system. Super interesting. I've actually done this. So for example, I try and meditate every day. I'm trying to shift into doing it every morning and afternoon, but it's been hard for me. Um, but if I say I, I'm having a lot of back pain or, or pain in my feet, I'll focus on that part for a good, that part of my body for a good majority of my meditation. And oftentimes by the end of the meditation, that pain is almost completely gone. Um, and this book is basically dives into the research of why that is. And I didn't really realize I was doing that. I was just in my head thinking, you know, this would make sense, this would work. Um, so yeah, this book has been super interesting. I like it a lot. So I would highly recommend Go Out the Placebo. It also talks about uh, one of the things it talks about is the importance of laughter and how laughing more 
affects our bodies. And I definitely think that's true. So, hence, here are some of my comedians that I like, that I like to listen to when I drive. Uh, You know, I listen to podcasts and Audible whenever I drive or work out or throughout the day. I just like to constantly be learning and absorbing new information. And comedians are also what I like to listen to because, you know, although I, I research and I write and I talk about a lot of serious stuff, life's not that serious. You don't have to listen to a personal development or business book every single freaking time. Like, sometimes I just want to chill, you know, so... There's some comedians that I like. And I will be at my apartment soon. This place looks so beautiful. Ah! I'm so excited. Ah! Okay, I'm turning. I'm turning into my apartment complex. I'm so excited. Whoa, it's so pretty. Okay, hold on. Okay, um, it is Friday morning. I just dropped my mom off at the airport and um, we got everything moved in pretty solid. I have a little bit more to do. Um, there were some areas that needed some cleaning, so we cleaned a little bit. Yeah, this, this apartment is good, but I think, you know, my lease is only a year, so I think I'll probably move somewhere. I wanted to start like with a cheaper place um one to save a little bit and two like I'd rather start somewhere cheaper and then kind of understand the area than find a place that I really love um and then move in there um so you know it's not like the dream apartment of my dreams but it's good um so I'm gonna finish moving in and yeah thank you for watching